Hello, hello, and welcome, Andrew, from the Cool Dog Channel. Uh, let me welcome you to the Final Fantasy XVI. A little bit of this main quest. Uh, last episode, I was looking for a tabor, and I'm an idiot because. I only read that Cloak and Dagger main mission will lead me to the fucking Tabor. Ah. Ah. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Easy target. Where are you? Uh, Torgal, you're growling at someone. No, I want to check this. That, um, that might be a big kitty, but there is a chest. I want to see the chest. I want to see what's inside of it. Yeah, I am a greedy bastard. Yeah, that was really quick. And what do you have to offer? Oh, real sash. That's something new. Nice! Totally worth it to come here and check this. Very good. Exquisite, I would say. Now, my dear companions, we can go and travel through the accursed ruins to check the Tabor. I don't have to fight you. I just discovered that. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Who's that? I do. What do you know then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh. No need to say if you'd rather not. We all have our reasons. Fly, Ambrosia. Straight home. One other side quest. You're injured. What happened here? Ether flood. Swallowed our camp. 
My old men. There's a village not far from here. Tate. It's. We can't let. I'll go. Thank you. Bad blood. Let's go and investigate this ether flow. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. I am curious how much I can charge it. The four is a lot. Quest along the way, so yeah, I won't be complaining. You must have me confused with someone else. My commander! My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. Man. Like you. I am nothing. Like you. Just know that I will find you, Sid. Oh. 
Not everyone will love you, Kyle. That's sad, but... There's nothing you can do, Clive. Everyone has to hate someone. That's a sad truth. few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Uh, markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. 
The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! Forgive us! We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity! How dare you! Distinguished members of the Council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them.
because they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to Isag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Oh, I don't think you care for her as deeply as she cares for you. We will do the side quest in the other episode, not today. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Cyril? How fair is the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and Bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, my lady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further... No. You are dismissed. Your Grace.
the canva then? We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed very. Uh... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Bedfellows? What's a strange. Uh... Free cities and a sea? Hmm. World. South of Tabor. It's either there or here. For it. Oh. Let's see if we will find our hunt here. Are you sure this is the right way, brother? Yeah. Let's charge it up to 5 or 10. Let's try. I don't know how much is enough or max or too much. 4 is a lot. Oh, 4 is maximum then it's good to know Easy peasy, the C marks are not. Mm, I do not consider them even a tough ones or hard ones. So. Shoot the with the leader of the pack, eh, boy? Let's go. Fly, Ambrosia. Now we can continue with our marvelous journey. Orcs. orcs. I don't want to fight any orcs. Because I have the fastest chocobo alive now.
Free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. so many side quests why why are you doing this to me this will be the whole next episode of, about this side quests or even two episodes if the hunts will Sounds like thunder. We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe.
Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Even fall. Many things can go wrong from here, so let's save. The enemies are getting stronger and stronger. Even the Akashic feels a little bit too dangerous. The Orcs and the Akashic. Awesome. I think the mo royal army is the monster army.
I don't like the big ones. They are always the trouble. Not only the troublemakers, they are the trouble itself. Because when they are accompanied by the smaller ones... Uh, That Mega Flare attack might be very useful if it could be charged up a little bit quicker. What the heck are you? survivors inside or they mean maybe not I think it is a perfect moment to stop this episode because it's getting a little bit too long